Okay, so what I wanted to show you was hooking up the EQ Star Pro to your laptop to be able to change the configuration settings. Now, you can also set it up for ASCOM. I'm not gonna be going through that in the demo because I'm an ASI Air Pro guy, but you can also use this and get it all configured with ASCOM and, and, and drive it with Nina or whatever magic software you'd like to use. Uh, but essentially what we have here is we've got the power plugged in to the power port, the PC cable um, going into the PC, and then it, it, uh, the unit comes with a control device. I forget what this is called, but essentially all you do is you just press down the button on the top and then you, let's back up. If I turn on the unit, it's gonna beep and then do a triple beep. So that's letting me know the unit's ready to go. If I put it into, uh, into bootloader mode, I'm calling it bootloader mode, I don't know what the heck, um, Astro Gadget calls it, but if you hold down uh, the button and then turn it on, it'll only just make a quick double beep. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like on the computer now. Okay, so I, uh, I did a little bit of legwork um, and I have all the files set up and I'm gonna share these files on my website. Uh, there'll be a link for them. But essentially in here, uh, I've got the installation guide that I've created for installing the EQ Star Pro and it just walks you through how to install it. Um, I had all this posted on my website and I decided to create a PDF instead uh, so the blog wasn't all kinds of long. So it just goes through and shows you how to install it and get it all set up. So um, with the software, uh, there's gonna be another manual in here. It's just not created yet and I'm working on that. Uh, but basically uh, it'll explain how to install the EQ Star software uh, and then also uh, the virtual driver that you need to install. And then also in the document, it's going to explain how to install .NET and uh, uh, some Visual Visual Studio library files or something is required. Once you get it all installed, um, if you go into your device manager, and I apologize, this computer's slow. It's an old, old laptop. Uh, in the device manager, in here you'll see a port called Silicon Labs. Um, I changed the port number to two. I think the default was six. You can leave it at whatever port number it is, um, but uh, I, I just changed it to two. It's not a big deal. You can leave it to whatever you want. Uh, if you're not sure how to change the COM port, you can just go to properties and then go to port settings. And then uh, I think it's advanced. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. And then you can change the COM to whatever the heck you want. So uh, I would say just leave it to the default. Don't worry about messing with that. So once you get it all done and we've got it in the boot mode, the, the bootloader mode, if you will, where it did the double beep, um, if you launch the EQ Star settings uh, application, once it's uh, installed, should just take a second here, hopefully. Okay, so at this point, um, it's connected to COM1 and if you just hit load settings, It'll open up the port and connect to it, and then it'll read the settings from the device and then show the settings. So these are the default settings um, that's coming from the vendor, um, from Astro Gadget. You can change the, the go-to speed if you want, uh, and it will move them out a lot quicker. Um, again, I, I leave it stock default settings. Um, I, I think the big thing that you wanna be concerned about here is that if you turn up the speed, um, the motors are gonna be moving quicker, the belt's gonna be moving quicker, and you're gonna wear your belt a little quicker. Um, I don't I don't know enough about stepper motors to give you a good overview if that's good or bad or indifferent, but um, for me, myself, I'm just leaving it at the stock settings. Um, if they release any firmware in the future, you can just do a firmware upgrade uh, this way through the firmware button. You just click it and then it browse to the folder. Uh, if you make any setting changes in here, you just make the setting changes and then you just hit save settings. I'm just going to save it just to show you. It opens the port and then it'll write it and it'll let you know that it's saved. And as you heard, it double beeps. So that's, that's basically the, the breakdown for this. Um, essentially, uh, that's the EQ Star Pro settings panel and this is version 1.9. Um, there may be another version that comes out in the future. I don't know. That's something that Astro Gadget will release and I'm sure let their customers know. But so anyways, I, uh, that's the, that's a breakdown of that. And I just wanted to give you a quick overview.